Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we are going to be talking about some monster romances. This is a collaboration with Tamika from Tamika's Library. She reached out to me and wanted to do a collab video and was like, I know you read monster romances, do you want to do a monster romance one? And I was like, yes, this is perfect because I had 10 recommendations already ready to go. I was going to film one soon, so this is perfect timing. This is my second monster romance recommendation video, so you can check out part one down below, as well as obviously Tamika's video. She's going to have more recommendations as well. I adore monster romances, alien romance, monster romance. They're just so fun to me. So please, please check some of these out. The first one that I would love to talk about is Muscles and Monsters by Ashley Bennett. This monster romance and this series in general, book two is coming out very soon, I believe. It takes place in this world like ours, except monsters and humans kind of live, co they cohabitate, if that makes sense. Tegan is a human woman and Atlas is a monster creature. He's a wolf like in a monster creature. Tegan owns a bakery and her co-worker um, or her assistant, I believe, calls out sick one day. And so she has to carry this wedding cake to the truck that she's gonna use. But the cake is pretty heavy and it ends up toppling out of her hands, right splat in front of Atlas, who's walking down the street. Atlas owns one of the buildings on the a sidewalk she was walking on. Um, he owns the gym where basically only monsters really use it because some humans are scared of monsters. So no human has been brave enough to come get a membership at his gym. But anyway, Atlas ends up helping Tegan out and the rest basically goes from there. The two cannot stop thinking about each other. Tegan decides to join Atlas's gym in order to get stronger to hopefully carry cakes herself but she also uses this as an excuse to get to know Atlas himself. This was just so cute. If you want a cute but hot monster romance, please check this one out. It has so many of my favorite tropes. It has the fade mate trope. Um, it has um, baking in it and it has like a cinnamon roll hero. There's also a plus size representation in here. I just love Ashley Bennett's covers, by the way, too. The cover for book two is stunning as well. And it's on Kindle Unlimited. I forgot to mention. So yeah, I think all of these possibly are on Kindle Unlimited. So that's a plus. I stand corrected. This next one is actually not on Kindle Unlimited. I think it's the only one that's not on KU on this list. However, I will make any excuse to mention this book in a video. And that is Radiance by Grace Draven. This is the special edition from Fay Crate. And I am obsessed with it. I got it in yesterday. If you've not heard about this book, you're probably new to my channel. Hello. <laughs> um, this is a fantasy romance. I forget sometimes that this is also a monster romance. So this is not in my first monster romance rec video. I feel shame for it, but it's okay. We're going to talk about it here. Ildiko here is the um, niece to the human king in this fantasy world. And Brishin is the spare heir to the Kai kingdom. Kai are creatures that are kind of like you can see gray skin. They have yellow eyes. They have claws, sharp teeth, um, and they're also nocturnal. And the Kai and the humans don't mix at all. And so it's a huge shock for both of them when they are told that they are going to be in an arranged marriage to unite an alliance between the two kingdoms. And so they get married at the very beginning of this book and they think that the other person is actually pretty ugly. Like they're not attracted to each other at all, but they are both sweet, caring people. So they become friends and then it develops into something more. If you have not read this book yet, you need to please. It is beautiful. It's my favorite romance of all time. So like you're missing out if you have not read this one yet. A recent favorite of mine that I just will not shut up about is A Soul to Keep by Opal Rain. This one was so good. It was hyped on TikTok and sometimes TikTok steers me wrong, but I feel like they do not steer me wrong when it comes to monster romances. This book is about Rhea and Orpheus. Rhea is a human woman that lives in this human camp human little town. And in this world, there are humans and there are demons and then there are dusk walkers. So three different creatures that kind of we know of. Humans are obviously humans. Demons are demons and they're trying to kill humans. The more humans they eat, the bigger they become. So a demon can start at like this small, but the more humans that it eats, it can become a literal giant. 
and they are evil, obviously. Um, and so humans are trying to save themselves and keep themselves safe from these demons. So this one town that Rhea lives in has a deal set up with a dusk walker, which is kind of like half human, half demon a little bit. You can see what he looks like on the cover. They have a deal with him where every 10 years they will give him a bride and in return he will use his magic to keep the town safe. This year Rhea has been chosen as said bride. She is not happy about it but the town basically forces her. So Orpheus comes to pick her up and take her back to his cottage and she's obviously very scared because look at this guy. He looks kind of scary right? Um, <laughs> But she realizes by staying with him that he is such a sweetie. Like he just wants companionship. He wants someone to stay with him for forever. All of the past people that have come to him for this deal have all left him or all died. So he just wants to keep Rhea safe and be with him for forever. He just wants someone to love him. I don't want to say anything else because it could be a spoiler, but this book is fantastic. It's a chunker. It's a little long, but it's totally worth it. I love these two characters together and how they fall for each other and how Rhea just like her mind completely flips for this guy and it's so amazing. Trigger warning in here for animal death, blood gore and killing. Animal death because they are in the woods living trying to survive. Um, none of them are pets so just be aware. Next I have The Beast by Jenica Snow. I recently buddy read this with Brie from In Love and Words and it was so much fun. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling except the beast never turns into a human. There's no curse on him to be a beast. He is just a beast the entire time. So I thought of this as basically the Disney animated version, just hotter and no curse involved. <laughs> There's nothing else to this, honestly. It's just a Beauty and the Beast retelling that I had a lot of fun reading. I think monster romances are so fun to buddy read with friends because some of them are just ridiculous. And so this is definitely a fun buddy read with Brie. I think book two just came out and um, I need to check that one out too. I recently finished like two days ago, Love, Laugh, Lich? Is it Lich? Leech? Lich. I'm so sorry for mispronouncing that. I don't know how to say that. This one has been on my TBR for a while because I know some of my friends have read this one and really liked it. And so I was like, why not? Let's pick it up. Let's do it. And it was so good. Um, You would, couldn't tell by the cover, but this is actually a workplace romance. <laughs> so Lily's boss is a little bit unconventional. She's the personal assistant to um, Sovin. Sovin. He's a demon creature-ish. I don't know what he is. He's a lich, I guess. Um, but he is this boss, this CEO to this giant evil company. Um, and so Lily is his personal assistant. She accidentally walks in on <laughs> Sovin in an inopportune moment in his office. Like she's delivering him coffee, forgets to knock, opens the door, and there he is, butt naked, you know? <laughs> so um, the things kind of like spiral from there. The two of them are very attracted to each other, but there's some things going on because that's obviously his personal assistant. I didn't expect Sovin to be so sweet. He is really sweet. Um, and the like monstrous, monsterish aspects in here were interesting, a little confusing because I still don't really understand it, but that's okay. I don't feel like you're, you're meant to understand all of monster, monster lore and monster romances. But man, he was totally smitten with Lily and would do anything to make her his, including I'm alive guys that ask Lily out in front of him. <laughs> One that a lot of people have read that just recently I decided to pick up is Girls Weekend by Sam Nascosta. I don't want to talk too much about this one because there's a bunch of different storylines in here that I don't want to spoil or ruin for you. And there's also just a bunch going on in this book. So you have like kind of like three point of views of three like girlfriends from work. So the three, these three girlfriends from work decide to go on a weekend vacation to this orc retreat, orc nudist retreat. And they just hang out at this resort for like the weekend and decide to have some fun. Each one kind of like finds their own little, not little, cause they're huge, orc men <laughs> to hook up with, hang out with for the weekend. And for some of the relationships, it turns into something more. So this deals with like elves, orcs, the orcs in here were hot, hot. I need to do an orc video soon. Cause like, dang. But I really need to read book two because this one doesn't necessarily end on a happily ever after for all three characters. So I have to read book two to get more of the story. Next is The Orc Run by Poppy Kildare. This is a very short, I want to say like 40 page novella. Um, just a fun little 
story you can read to escape into. This is another orc monster book. Viola is our human woman. She lives in this kingdom full of humans. However, they have kind of like hired the orc kingdom to protect them from demons. And the way that the orcs want payment is for them to host an orc run once a year. These women will volunteer themselves to be in this run where they go and run into the woods, into the forest, and these orc men will come and chase them down and have their wicked way with them. Sometimes the women just have a fun night with an orc and other times the orc will steal them away to be theirs for forever. So Viola, the heroine of this book, she is actually married to this gross dude. I think he's a duke and she's just like sick of him. She's like, I have no passion for him. He's not doing anything for me. And so Viola participates in the orc run and the rest goes from there. She has fun with an orc. It's a little short snippet of just a fun hot time with an orc. Next, I have a whole like series for you, but it's a series of novellas. So this is the Tombstone University series by K.L. Mann. She only has three novellas in this world universe. I don't know if she's gonna be writing anymore, but each monster romance novella like takes place around a holiday. Dare or Death is the one that takes place during Halloween. Our heroine is a shy, innocent woman who goes to a college party where they end up summoning uh, a demon and they play uh, dare or death. Either they complete the dare that the demon has put on them or the demon will kill them. But this then turns into a MMF monster romance between the demon, the shy, innocent heroine I was talking about and another guy that's there. So it's these books are so hot. So please, yeah, they're very short, very hot and monstery. The second book is Mary or Mortem. This is the sapphic one in the series. So the human woman of this one was the best friend to the girl from book one. The girl from book one is missing. So she's trying to find her friend, her roommate. And she goes to one of the girls who I think hosted the party named Gretchen. She's like, Gretchen, I know you know where my friend is. Please try and help me find her. She doesn't know that Gretchen is an incubus. Um, and so Gretchen makes a deal with her and it's like, okay, I'll take you to your friend in exchange. You are mine for all of Christmas day to do whatever I want with you. Um, and so she agrees and then they kind of like form something more afterwards. So this is a Christmas one, obviously. And then the last one is Bask or Burn. And this is the New Year's, I think it's New Year's, New Year's one. Um, this is an MMM romance. You've met the monstrous creature in this one in the previous books. He is a warlock who can like breathe fire too. Anyway, he's very attracted to his professor at his first day of this university. Also, yes, all these books takes place in the Tombstone University where there are humans and monsters. Anyway, he ends up being very attracted to his professor on the first day of classes of the new year. And then he finds out that his professor is also married to a guy and he's attracted to him too. So he's like, you two just come. We'll, we'll be a we'll be a three couple, a three thruple together. <laughs> All of these were super fun, super hot. I really recommend them if you want a good monster romance palette cleanser because they're so short, but also really fun. Another really short one that takes place during a holiday is Satan by Lila Faye. I talked about Lila Faye a lot in my monster romance uh, part one video, um, but this is one that I've read since then, and it's just a fun old time. <laughs> so our heroine has been writing letters to Santa for years, um, but she has dyslexia and she accidentally has been writing to Satan instead every year. And she doesn't actually send them. She thinks she's like the one she's writing to Santa. She thinks she's writing to Santa. She isn't actually sending them after she writes the letter. She just puts it in the fire. But that's how Satan gets mail is by you putting the letter in <laughs> fire. And so Satan has been reading these letters from this girl for years. I think she's like 20 something now and he's like, finally gonna go get her. But she doesn't know that he exists. So it's really funny, but really hot at the same time. <laughs> I feel like that's a lot of Lila Faye's books. And the last one that I'd love to mention is Great Tidings by Salem St. Clair. Another holiday monster romance. This one takes place during Christmas as well. Our heroine in here is having a really bad, I think Christmas Eve, like things are just not going her way. And she ends up just like cursing Santa's name. So she's just like looking at the sky, cursing him out, and um, isn't thinking she's actually talking to Santa, right? She's just like, oh, screw you, Santa. Like, this sucks. My day sucks, whatever. But Santa did hear, and he sends Krampus to go punish the heroine for cursing him out. So Krampus decides to give the heroine some punishment in, in some interesting ways that you read about. Um, but this one was super hot. 
very, very, very short. So please be aware of that. I wish this one was longer, but it's not. It's just a very short snippet of hot monster romance fun with Krampus. So there you have it. Those are some monster romance recommendations for you. Please be sure to check out Tamika's video. I cannot wait to see what recs she has because I'm always looking for more monster romances. Please let me know down below also if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Today's gonna be a good day.